Buying a house is probably one of the most significant financial commitments that most people shall ever make. For these people, their home is the most important asset they will ever own. It is generally accepted that home ownership represents a major achievement and milestone in anyone's life. You may have recently taken the decision to become a homeowner, which is why you are watching this video. Maybe you just want to learn more about the various mortgage products offered by Ghana Home Loans before taking a decision on home ownership. Either way, the journey to home ownership begins with you deciding to buy your own house instead of continuing to rent one. Once that important first step is taken, you must start looking for a property to buy. The search must be done with great care and in a systematic manner. The offer price is often the key consideration for most people looking to buy a property. We advise that you shop around to get the best price for the location and house type. It is recommended that you also compare the price per square meter for each property. The price per square meter is the offer price divided by the total floor area. This is one way to determine whether two similar properties in the same neighborhood being sold at the same price actually offer the same value. In addition to price or price per square meter, other factors that you may wish to consider in selecting a property include location, quality of construction, size of rooms, plot size, availability of parking, proximity to your place of work, schools and other amenities, access to public utilities and the number of years left on the lease when you buy the property. If it is an investment property, you should also inquire about rent being paid for similar properties in the area. You should also assess the potential for the property you are about to buy to appreciate in value. It is always a good idea to seek a second opinion from someone who has more experience in these matters than you do. There are several places you may choose to buy your future home from. You can buy a house from one of the many property developers currently building large gated estates across Ghana. You can engage the services of an estate agent who can in turn identify private property owners looking to sell their houses. You may have to pay a commission to your agent if you buy any of the properties they present to you. It might be an idea to even approach your landlord and offer to buy the house that you currently live in. Telling your friends and family about your search can also be a way of identifying property since they may know people with property to sell. Then again, you can consider houses for sale that are advertised in the many property-related newspapers and websites. Even though Ghana Home Loans does not build or sell houses, we do offer various channels to assist you in the search for your future home. Please explore any of these channels during your search. Our channels include the online database www.ghlpropertyfinder.com Housing fairs organized by Ghana Home Loans, mortgage clinics organized every Saturday morning at Ghana Home Loans and various brochures and flyers placed at the Ghana Home Loans reception by developers. When you have identified a suitable property and negotiated the price with the owner, you will have to agree on payment terms and then proceed to transfer funds to the owner. Some people choose to buy property using their own savings. However, the majority of people prefer to buy property with a loan, even if they can afford to pay for it from their own savings. These people are likely to take a loan from a mortgage company, such as Ghana Home Loans, in order to buy the property and then repay the loan over time. The use of a loan to buy a house and the simultaneous use of that same house as collateral for the loan is what creates a mortgage or a home loan. Given that the cost of a house is typically much larger than an individual's monthly income, the loan has to be structured to enable the borrower to comfortably repay in monthly installments. One way of making the payment of monthly mortgage installments more manageable is to stretch the repayment period out for as long as possible, even up to 20 years. A longer repayment period results in lower monthly installments. This ensures that as a borrower, you do not have to use your entire monthly salary to service the mortgage. 
Even though the repayment period may be set at 20 years, you always have the option to pay the loan off earlier than that if you wish to do so. Because a loan required to buy a house typically involves a large sum of money, you shall have to provide some form of collateral to Ghana Home Loans in order to secure this loan. Ghana Home Loans shall use the property that you intend to buy as the collateral for the loan we provide to you. This is the basis on which a mortgage agreement shall be created between us. Besides the property that you are looking to buy, you do not need to provide any other additional property as collateral in order to apply for a Ghana Home Loans mortgage. When your mortgage application has been approved and you have signed all the necessary loan agreements, Ghana Home Loans shall disburse or pay the loan amounts directly to the person selling the property. If you are an existing homeowner applying for a homeowner's mortgage, then the loan shall be disbursed directly to you or to the company that you are buying goods and or services from. Once the loan is disbursed and you have become a homeowner, you shall be required to start paying the scheduled monthly installments over an agreed repayment period. Every mortgage given by Ghana Home Loans is disbursed with the intention of it being repaid. In line with this requirement and our commitment to prudent lending, Ghana Home Loans carefully analyzes all your sources of income to ensure that we only lend you an amount we think you can comfortably repay. If you believe we have not taken into account any aspect of your income and have therefore given you less than you should qualify for, kindly draw our attention to this and we shall review your application. You may be required to provide additional information on the other sources of income that you would like us to consider. During the term of the mortgage, Circumstances may change in your life that may negatively impact your finances. You could lose your job or even suffer bereavement. Nevertheless, your obligation to make the monthly repayments will remain unchanged and the mortgage must be fully paid off. As a mortgage borrower, you should therefore take this long-term obligation into account when planning your future finances. A mortgage is a long-term loan that has several standard features. Interest rates the interest rate is the cost of your loan. The interest rate you pay on your Ghana Home Loans mortgage is the prevailing Ghana Home Loans base rate plus a margin. The Ghana Home Loans base rate is largely determined by our cost of funds and operating costs. The margin is determined by the type of mortgage product you have applied for and how risky we think of you as a borrower. When you apply for your mortgage, you should state whether you want a fixed interest rate or a variable interest rate loan. A fixed interest rate mortgage means the interest rate does not change during the entire life of the mortgage. In simple terms, this means your monthly repayment amount does not change over the life of the loan. You therefore have the certainty of knowing that for the next 20 years, you shall pay the same amount each month towards the purchase of your house. You should however note that if you have a dollar mortgage, due to currency depreciation, the city equivalent of your monthly installment could change over time even though the dollar amount remains constant. Fixed rate mortgages are a good choice if you believe that in future, interest rates are likely to move up since if they do, your loan will remain fixed at a lower interest rate. A variable interest rate mortgage means the interest rate used to calculate your monthly payment may change from time to time based on movements in an underlying benchmark such as the Ghana Home Loans base rate. Your monthly mortgage payment, which is linked to the interest rate, shall therefore rise and fall as the variable interest rate rises and falls. When there is going to be a change in your variable interest rate, you shall be notified by Ghana Home Loans ahead of time so that you will be aware of the new interest rate and the corresponding new monthly repayment amount. Variable rate mortgages are a good choice if you believe interest rates are heading downwards since if they do, your repayment amounts shall reduce as the interest rates fall. However, if interest rates start to climb again, your monthly mortgage repayments shall also rise accordingly. Please consult your Ghana Home Loans Analyst if you require further clarification on the choice of interest rate for your loan. Currency you have the choice of borrowing in CDs or in foreign currencies such as US dollars. Your choice of currency should depend on the currency of your income as well as the interest rate at which each loan type is offered. For example, 
If you earn dollars, you may choose to take a dollar mortgage facility in order to match the currency of your income and that of your mortgage repayments. CD earners may also choose to take a dollar loan because dollar loans generally have a relatively lower interest rate. However, as a CD earner, you must be aware that if the CD depreciates, then even though your monthly dollar repayment remains unchanged, you will need more CDs to pay the same monthly dollar amount. A CD earner who takes a dollar loan faces what is called currency or foreign exchange risk. Currency or foreign exchange risk is a type of risk that arises from the potential change in the exchange rate of one currency against another. To be safe, a CD earner may choose to borrow in CDs in order to match the currency in which they earn their income with the currency of their mortgage repayments. The potential drawback in taking a CD loan is that monthly repayments would typically be higher than that for the dollar loan due to the generally higher CD interest rates. Again, the CD mortgages typically have variable interest rates which means the interest rates charged on the loan could change significantly over time. This shall cause your monthly CD installment to change over the repayment period. Please consult your Ghana Home Loans Analyst if you require further clarification on the choice of currency for your loan. Repayment Period The mortgage repayment period refers to how long you are going to use to pay back the mortgage. A Ghana Home Loans mortgage currently offers a repayment period of up to 20 years with an option for you to pay the loan off earlier if you wish. In general, as a borrower, if you consider the repayment period offered you too long, you have two choices. The first choice is for you to accept the repayment period, make the required scheduled payments, and in addition make significant lump sum prepayments from time to time. This approach will shorten the actual period you use to pay back the loan. After each significant lump sum prepayment, your principal, the loan amount still outstanding, will be reduced. You shall then have the choice of either continuing to make the same monthly payments as before and shortening the repayment period or reducing your monthly installments and repaying over the original repayment period. You need to tell us which of these two you prefer. Furthermore, you should inform Ghana Home Loans well in advance and in writing before making each lump sum prepayment. If you fail to give the required notice period, you could pay a prepayment fee. The second option available to you is to simply request for a shorter repayment period when you initially apply for the loan. You should however know that for the same loan amount, the shorter the repayment period, the higher your monthly repayment amount shall be and therefore the higher your monthly income should be in order to qualify for the loan. Please note that if you are unable to keep up with these higher payments, you could potentially default on your loan and lose your property. Ghana Home Loans expects that by the time a borrower attains 70 years, they should have fully paid back the loan. To achieve this, Ghana Home Loans, in some instances, shall propose a shorter repayment period for a client who has a good credit profile but is close to their retirement age. In such a situation, a loan shall be structured to ensure that the amount due is fully paid back within, say, four or six years, subject to all the usual credit requirements. Please contact your Ghana Home Loans Analyst if you need further clarification on your choice of repayment periods, your prepayment options and the implications of prepaying on your loan. Ghana Home Loans Mortgage Products Purchase Mortgage If you wish to acquire property, then you should consider a Ghana Home Loans Purchase Mortgage. Ghana Home Loans offers the two main types of purchase mortgages, the first time buyer mortgage and the buy to let mortgage. As the name suggests, the first time buyer mortgage is used by someone looking to buy their first home. In contrast, an existing homeowner may apply for a buy-to-let mortgage to acquire an investment property which they can then rent out. The purchase mortgage usually requires the borrower to make a cash contribution towards the purchase. This is in the form of a down payment or deposit. This deposit could be as much as 50% or as little as 10% of the selling price of the property. The borrower can then apply for a purchase mortgage from Ghana Home Loans to pay for the remaining amount.
The size of the down payment or deposit will depend on several factors, including the particular nature of the mortgage transaction, the amount being borrowed, and the country of residence of the applicant. At the time of your application, Ghana Home Loans shall indicate the deposit will require you to contribute to the specific property that you wish to purchase. The property being purchased shall be the collateral used to secure the loan. So as a borrower, you will not need to provide any other form of collateral. The process of applying for a purchase mortgage is explained in the section of this video which looks at the mortgage application process. Please remember that if your vendor is a private individual, Ghana Home Loans shall ask them to provide information to confirm their identity and that they actually own the property they are selling. The process of ownership verification is often quite detailed and depends on the nature of the transaction and the parties involved. Ownership verification is for your benefit as the buyer, so please cooperate with us while we attempt to establish if your vendor is giving you good title to the property. First Time Buyer The prospective homeowner can buy their new home through an estate agent, from a property developer or even their current landlord. Alternatively, as a buyer, you can explore any of the channels provided by Ghana Home Loans in order to find your dream house. These include the online database www.ghlpropertyfinder.com Housing fairs organized by Ghana Home Loans Mortgage clinics organized every Saturday morning at Ghana Home Loans and various brochures and flyers placed at the Ghana Home Loans reception by developers. Once you have identified the property and negotiated the selling price with the owner, you should ask for a signed offer letter to confirm the conditions and terms of the sale. Please review this offer letter with your lawyer since it could include clauses that may be very unfavorable to you. Again, if you wish to know the loan amount you qualify for and the type of house you can afford before you start to search for a property, you should ask your Ghana Home Loans Analyst for a mortgage illustration. The Ghana Home Loans Mortgage Illustration gives you useful information about qualifying income, transaction costs and required documentation for you to know where to start your search. Ideally, you should know the outcome of the mortgage application before you make any form of payments to the vendor or person selling the property. In other words, you need to know how much Ghana Home Loans is willing to contribute to the transaction on your behalf so that you can arrange how to fund the difference yourself. Buy to Let As an existing homeowner, you may decide to buy an additional property or properties as a form of investment. A Ghana Home Loans Buy to Let mortgage should enable you to achieve this objective. Once you have found a suitable investment property and negotiated the price with the owner, you should submit a Buy to Let mortgage application to Ghana Home Loans along with all the necessary supporting documentation. The process is similar to that for the first-time buyer except that you would typically have to make a higher deposit towards the purchase of a buy-to-let property. This means your cash contribution to the purchase is usually higher for a buy-to-let mortgage than for a first-time buyer mortgage. Please ask your Ghana Home Loans Analyst for the details of the deposit required for a buy-to-let mortgage. When assessing a buy-to-let mortgage application, Ghana Home Loans takes into account potential rental income that you shall earn as a landlord. You should therefore provide any information you may have on the rental income for the property that you wish to buy or similar properties in the area. You can do this by seeking the professional opinion of an estate agent who is active in that part of town. Please note that Ghana Home Loans expects the buy-to-let borrower to primarily make their monthly payments from their regular income and not the anticipated rental income from prospective tenants. As such, if you fail to find tenants for your property, you should still be able to make your monthly repayments. 
please consult your Ghana Home Loans Analyst if you require further clarification or have further questions relating to the purchase mortgage. If you already own a home and earn an income but need money to meet a pressing financial obligation, you should consider the Ghana Home Loans Homeowner's Mortgage. If, for example, you need funds to invest in a business venture, pay overseas university tuition, or undertake expansion works on a property, you can use your house and apply for a long-term loan from Ghana Home Loans. Ghana Home Loans offers two types of homeowner's mortgage. These are the Equity Release Mortgage and the Home Improvement Mortgage. Equity Release Mortgage the Equity Release Mortgage provides a source of substantial long-term funding for existing homeowners. This product is targeted at homeowners who have periodic but substantial financing needs and end up borrowing over short periods and at very high interest rates. The product offers a long-term alternative with more manageable monthly repayments. Existing Ghana Home Loans clients who have already used our purchase mortgage to acquire property can also apply for a version of equity release mortgage called a top-up mortgage. If the application is successful, we shall provide them with an additional loan, a top-up mortgage, using the same property they presented earlier as collateral. The equity release mortgage typically has a repayment period of up to 20 years, even though the borrower can prepay at any time they choose. The Home Improvement Mortgage The Home Improvement Mortgage is a variation of the equity release mortgage in which the loan proceeds are used to improve an existing property. An existing homeowner may wish to refurbish their home, change the tiling, replace the roofing or even build a kitchen extension in order to enhance the value of their property. They can do this with a home improvement mortgage. The home improvement mortgage typically has a repayment period of up to 20 years even though the borrower can prepay at any time. Ghana Home Loans may decide to disburse a home improvement mortgage in stages or even disburse directly to the service providers builders, electricians, companies that sell windows and doors, roofing companies, etc. The process of applying for a purchase mortgage is explained in the section of this video which looks at the mortgage application process. Existing homeowners who wish to use their property as collateral for a homeowner's mortgage, equity release or home improvement shall be required to provide the following. 1. Evidence of ownership of the property. This shall be in the form of a land title certificate or a fully registered indenture. If you are not sure about the status of your title documents, please visit Ghana Home Loans with your documents and ask our customer response team for advice. Again, if the property being presented is owned by a family, a group of siblings or a married couple, then Ghana Home Loans may require additional details and or written consent from each of the co-owners before considering the application. Please note that you must own the property being presented as collateral for the loan. You cannot apply for the homeowner's loan using a property that you do not already own. 2. Proof of Income As in all other mortgage applications, the homeowner will have to provide evidence of existing income. Even if the loan is going to be used for a revenue generating venture in the future, the borrower will need to provide evidence of their current income sources. It is this source of current income that will be used to service the loan before the anticipated future income is realized. 3. Purpose of Loan The borrower shall provide details of the use to which the loan shall be applied. If necessary, Ghana Home Loans shall ask for supporting documentation or evidence of the intended use. For example, if you declare that the loan shall be used to pay your child's school fees at an overseas university, we may ask for an admission letter or evidence that the child is indeed at an overseas university. The homeowner's mortgage does not require the borrower to make a down payment towards the transaction. Furthermore, subject to terms and conditions, transaction fees can be deducted from the loan. This means that the borrower will not need to make out-of-pocket expenses towards the loan. 
please ask your Ghana Home Loans Analyst for the specific conditions that could be attached to your homeowner's loan and also seek clarification on questions relating to the homeowner's mortgage. The Construction Mortgage Many prospective homeowners prefer to build their own home rather than buy from a developer or a private vendor. Some may even have already bought the land, designed their dream home and started construction. Such people wish to live at a specific location of their choice and in a custom-built house designed to their taste. If that is your wish, then you should consider the Ghana Home Loans Construction Mortgage product. A key requirement of a construction mortgage is that the borrower must present Ghana Home Loans with evidence of ownership of the land on which the property currently stands or shall be built. This evidence shall be in the form of a land title certificate or a fully registered indenture. If you are not sure about the status of your title documents, please visit Ghana Home Loans with your original documents and ask our customer response team for advice. You shall also be required to provide the necessary building and planning permits from the relevant agencies before we disburse the loan. Without the necessary permits, construction work on the site can be suspended by government and fines imposed. It is therefore important that you seek professional advice on where to acquire all the necessary legal permits and present these when you submit the mortgage application. A qualified architect or lawyer should be able to provide some assistance in obtaining the necessary permits. Another key requirement is a professional assessment of how much money you need to complete the house. This shall be in the form of a recent bill of quantities prepared by a qualified quantity surveyor. The bill of quantities is critical because it confirms to both the borrower and Ghana Home Loans that the loan being requested shall be sufficient to complete all essential construction works. The construction mortgage product does not require the borrower to make a down payment towards the transaction. The existing property that the borrower wishes to complete or construct shall be considered as their down payment. Furthermore, subject to terms and conditions, transaction fees can be deducted from the loan. This means that the borrower will not need to make any out-of-pocket expenses towards securing the loan. Ghana Home Loans may decide to disburse your home completion or home construction mortgage loan directly to your service providers or vendors of the construction material being used to build your house. Please ask your Ghana Home Loans analyst about how your loan is likely to be disbursed in phases and the conditions you shall have to meet before each phase is disbursed. The process of applying for a construction mortgage is explained in the section of this video which looks at the mortgage application process. Ghana Home Loans offers two construction mortgage products, the Home Completion Mortgage and the Home Construction Mortgage. The Ghana Home Loans construction mortgage products are structured in two phases. Phase 1. The one-year construction phase. During this phase, the approved loan facility is usually fully disbursed in order for all construction works to be completed. The agreed loan amount shall be disbursed in two or three tranches or in a manner which will be pre-agreed with the borrower. Ghana Home Loans expects that all construction works should be completed within 12 months of the first disbursement date. If construction extends beyond 12 months, a penalty interest rate may be applied to the loan until construction is complete. Ghana Home Loans may undertake periodic checks to assess the state of completion of the property. The interest rate for the construction phase is relatively high and reflects the various construction and performance risks associated with the construction phase. When construction is complete, which is at the end of the 12-month period, or earlier if possible, the borrower should invite Ghana Home Loans to undertake a final inspection of the project. If construction has been completed to the satisfaction of Ghana Home Loans, the facility shall be converted to Phase 2 and a much lower interest rate. If construction is not complete, a penalty interest rate shall be applied until construction is completed. Phase 2 Mortgage Phase Once construction is complete, the amount outstanding from the construction phase both interest and principal shall be rolled into a standard mortgage phase which has a repayment period of up to 20 years. As always, you can have the option to prepay during the mortgage phase. Please note that the conversion fee may apply to roll the loan over from phase 1 to phase 2.
even though the two types of construction mortgage products, home completion and home construction are similar, they each have specific qualifying requirements. The Home Completion Mortgage To qualify for the Home Completion Mortgage, the borrower must have completed the block work on the property to at least a lintel level at the time the loan is disbursed. The Home Completion Mortgage shall be disbursed in tranches either directly to the borrower or to the service providers and vendors providing the construction materials. The loan proceeds shall be used to undertake the rest of the construction works, roofing the property, installation of windows and doors, plumbing, electrical works, tiling and even landscaping and other external works. If you are not sure whether or not your uncompleted structure qualifies for the home completion mortgage, please provide your Ghana Home Loans Analyst with a recent picture of the property so they can seek pre-approval before you submit your application. Home Construction Mortgage A borrower may apply for a home construction mortgage to build on land that they already own. The home construction mortgage does not require that the borrower builds the structure to lintel level before submitting an application to Ghana Home Loans. Ghana Home Loans can finance the construction even from the foundation stage upwards. We may require you to take a construction insurance policy to cover the structure during the construction phase. As stated earlier, disbursements may be made in tranches and with conditions that would be pre-agreed with the borrower. More importantly, we will require the borrower to engage the services of a professional builder with a proven track record to undertake the construction. Disbursements of the home construction mortgage shall be made directly to your builder and at pre-specified stages, typically after they have completed each phase of the project. Unless otherwise agreed, we shall pay your builders for work after it has been done and not before. This minimizes the risk of non-performance. Please consult your Ghana Home Loans Analyst if you require further clarification or have further questions relating to the construction mortgage. Refinancing You may already have a mortgage loan with another provider but wish to switch to Ghana Home Loans to enjoy a more competitive product offering or more focused customer care. You should apply for a Ghana Home Loans Refinance Mortgage. The process starts with the completion of the Ghana Home Loans Mortgage Application Form. In addition to all the usual documentation submitted with a mortgage application, as a refinance mortgage applicant, you also need to submit the following. 1. A recent loan statement from your current lender showing your mortgage servicing records for the 12 most recent months. 2. Evidence that you own the property being refinanced. The refinance mortgage does not require the borrower to make a down payment towards the transaction. Your equity in the existing property being refinanced shall be considered as your down payment. Furthermore, subject to terms and conditions, transaction fees can be deducted from the loan. This means that the borrower will not need to make any out-of-pocket expenses towards the loan. The process of applying for a refinance mortgage is explained in the section of this video which looks at the mortgage application process. If your refinance mortgage application is successful, then you will be asked to request a final statement from your current mortgage lender and submit this document to Ghana Home Loans. We shall then pay the amount you owe that lender and in return, they shall release the title documents on your property to Ghana Home Loans. Your former lender shall be required to issue you with a deed of discharge, which is simply a document that confirms you no longer owe them. From that point forward, you will be a Ghana Home Loans customer and be required to make all your scheduled monthly payments to us. You can apply for a refinance loan that is greater than the amount you owe your current lender. If your application for the higher amount is approved, we shall pay off your lender and give you the remaining amount. In effect, you would have switched your mortgage and released equity at the same time. Please consult your Ghana Home Loans Analyst if you require further clarification or have further questions relating to the refinance mortgage.